This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. We're going to set up a head symbol so that way we can pick and choose which head phases we want to implement at which times. So first, because I'm going to be working with the rig, I want to change the way my workspace is currently set up. I find that putting the timeline on the left when rigging is easier. So I'm just going to come over here and grab the timeline and click and drag and bring it over here until the left side of the screen flashes blue and then release. And now we can view the timeline just like this. Now this might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but if we were to double click on the Chad layer, you can see now it's easier to access all the layers here on the side and it will allow us to rig quicker versus if it were on the bottom. And I currently don't need that output window as well, so I'm just going to close that. That way we have more screen to look at. So now with that, we want to come in here and look at the different head poses. So we have head side, head front, and head three fourths. And everything is pretty much set up and ready to go for us. So making sure that all of those layers are expanded out, I'm just going to come in here, click once on hair strand for head side, hold and shift, and then click on back strand. Now, right click within those layers, and then come down and choose copy layers from the list. Now, I'm going to use Command F8 or Control F8 if you're on Windows to create a new symbol. We're just going to type out head side for this and we'll keep it as a graphic and we can click OK. Inside this new symbol, I'm just going to come over here to layer one, right click, and then paste layers. With that now, you can see all the layers are set. We currently can't see them. That's because they're a little bit off screen, but that's okay. We're also going to come in here and remove layer one since we no longer need it. Now, I'm going to click on scene one to back out. And now we're going to repeat this process for the next two poses. So I'll double click. We're going to repeat the process now for head front, starting with hair strands at the top. Click on hair strands, hold and shift, and then click on head right click, copy layers, command F8 to create a new symbol for the library, name this one head front, click OK, right click on layer one, paste those layers. We can come in and then remove layer one as we no longer need it. Come back out here to scene one, double click on the Chad graphic once again. We're going to come down here now to head three fourths. So underneath head three fourths, we're going to click and then hold and shift and then click all the way down to head three fourths and just click. And so now we have those selected, right click, copy layers, command F8. This will be head three fourths. We can click okay and then just paste those layers and everything should be good to go. Coming back in here to the chadreduced.psd graphic, I want to just collapse these heads here really quick. And while still under the heads group, I want to create a new layer. I guess I should actually be in the heads group when I do that, but that's okay. If you're not, you can just drag and drop. So we have a new layer and I'm actually going to create two more. And we'll start with the top one here. Just click on layer 63, come over here to your library and you'll see now that we have head side, head front and head three fourths. Let's start with head side. 
In fact, I can come in here and just hide the visibility for head front and head three fourths on the timeline. Let me just collapse these so it's not too confusing looking at that. So now we just see head side, making sure we're once again on layer 63. I'm just going to come over here and click and drag and bring head side out like that. And we can just come in and line it up as close as possible. Let me just use command and come in here so I can zoom in with my mouse wheel. And then I can just place the head in just like that. And I can come up here. We can name this now head side. And we're just going to keep going here. So let me hide the original head side and bring up head three fourths. And I'll hide this new head side. Come down to layer 62, drag and drop head front, and just come in and quickly line it up. Again, you can use your arrow keys if you need to make any precise movements just to get it into place. Come in and name that one appropriately, so head front. And then we have head three fourths, which is the last one we want to reference. So grab head three fourths, bring it in, bring it over, and get it into place just like that. Come in and rename this to head three fourths and you're looking good. So now I'm going to come in here, click once on the head side group, hold and shift, click on head three fourths, and then come up here to the trash can and just remove all of those layers. You're going to get a warning asking you if you want to do this, just hit yes. And now everything is removed for those groups and we now just have the symbols in place, which will help us with organization. There's one more thing we want to do, and that is put these symbols into another symbol. And we're just gonna do what we did before. Click on head side, hold and shift, click on head three fourths, right click, and then copy layers, command F8, and we're just going to name this one head and then click OK. We're now inside that new symbol. Right click and paste layers. And we'll come in here and remove that layer one because we don't want that. Let's now jump back into the main Chad rig symbol. We can come over here and click once on the Chad group and then make a new layer. And we will name this one head. And within the library, I'm just going to click and drag and bring this head symbol over and zoom in. And just come over here like this and place that head symbol in so that it attaches and that it overlays the original objects. Now I can come over here click once on heads, and then we can just remove that group. We'll just say yes, and now it's removed, and we have the three head poses within this symbol. But there is just one more thing we need to do. Let's double click on this new head symbol to go inside. You can see that we have these three layers, and I'm just going to expand the timeline out really quick and we're just going to start with this top layer. So head side will be frame one, head front is going to be frame two. And to do that, we're just going to click and drag and bring it up so that it is frame two. And then head three fourths is going to be frame three. And then we're just going to come down here to head front, hold and shift, click on head three fourths, Come up here and use that trash icon. And now I can come in here and relabel this layer to just head and then hit enter. So what I have done here now, let me just collapse this timeline. Only one head phase will be visible. The hair, let me come down here, is currently visible behind the body. So that might be throwing this off a little bit. So I'll just hide that for right now. 
But you can see here that we have the head. And if you want, you can come over here to your properties and either using the frame picker or just advancing on your frames, you can see now that we can adjust which head pose we want to use. And so that is one way you can control your head and your head phases inside of Animate CC. And there is much more we can do. This is just the beginning, getting everything set up before we go into the more advanced stuff. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.